Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Dr. Deidre Sorrell, and I am a licensed professional counselor, school psychologist, and Mrs. Black Maryland International Am Ambassador 2020. And I am here today for another episode of Managing Anxiety in the Storm. And I am so excited to bring to you a very special guest and great friend of mine. Her name is Mrs. Tiana Miller, and she is a belly dance expert. So we're gonna talk about belly dance and we're gonna answer all the questions that you have about belly dance and talk about the benefits of belly dance. Like, you know, the, the health benefits, mental health, all the other benefits of belly dancing. So if you don't know anything about it, you're gonna find out about it today. So without further ado, let me introduce Mrs. Tiana Miller. Thank you for being here. <laughs> hey, D, Miss Deidre, Miss Queen. How you doing, my beautiful black sister? Thank you. I I am doing doing well out here in these quarantine streets. I'm holding it down, doing the best Girl, I can. The devil is <laughs> How about alone. you. <laughs> I am awesome. You know what? I will not complain. The sun is shining. I see the sky. There is fresh air, regardless of what they try to tell us, and the devil is a liar, girl. So I'm blessed. Every day I wake up, I'm blessed, and I'm awesome. Amen. I love <laughs> hearing that. I love your spirit. Let me tell you all, Tiana is always positive, and that's something that I really love about her, that I really want, I, I want to just kind of, I want all that positivity to gravitate toward me because <laughs> sometimes yeah, I, I can I can be the pessimist. <laughs> that listen, that energy welcomes that energy, which is why you and I have grown to be very, very close because yeah. that energy attracts. I can be the jaded one. <laughs> oh no. It helps you me in my career, but it's other than spirit. that, it's like, you know, but girl, you you know I tell you all the time, you are a beautiful spirit. You Thank, are. You. <laughs> Thank you. Thank <laughs> you. So so Tiana, could you tell us a little bit a little bit about you, your background, and then what kind of led you toward belly dancing? I most certainly can, and I am so excited. Thank you for having me. I really appreciate it. One thing about this beautiful queen here, you guys, is this lady really pushes you and challenges you to really tune in to what you enjoy, and then she creates opportunities for you to do that. So I want to say I really Thank appreciate you. you. Um, and when you asked me to do this interview, and just thinking about my growth and thinking about, you know, the questions and everything, you are at the top of the list because I am where I am today with belly dancing and just this manifestation and this aura that I've been feeling. It is because of you. So oh. I so greatly appreciate you, girl. You. Um, I started belly dancing about four years ago. I think it's hard. I lose count. But um, I moved here from Georgia. I'm originally from Michigan. Uh, moved here from Georgia and knew nobody. So I came here mid 30 year old woman, you know what I mean? Married with a husband, two boys, my daddy, and a male dog. You know, so I was the only estrogen in the house in Maryland. And I didn't know anyone, you know, and I've always needed to, you know, connect and just have that good energy, but also want to feel that femininity. You know what I mean? And be around my sisters. I love my girls. I love my family. And so I was seeking that, you know, and I always loved to dance, but I was like, okay, what can I do? How can I find self-care for me to keep me sane? when I'm surrounded by all these men, testosterone is what I call them, um, and how can I still connect with my femininity and get time to get away from being a mother, a wife, a professional woman, you know? And so I just start searching randomly, dance classes and stuff on the internet and stumbled across belly dancing. And I was like, yes, this is perfect. Let's do it, let's try it out. So that's how I got started. I literally went on the internet. I tried out a class. And I mean, the way that the aura and energy and our most high aligns, you and I met in that class. That's right. That's right. And that was my very first belly dancing class. Um, and thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed it. Was very excited. I did not have a clue as to what belly dancing was about. And I had a lot of misconceptions, which I know we'll talk about. Um, but once I started experiencing it, I just felt freedom. You know, I felt 
good and I felt like I was doing something for me. Mm-hmm. So that's how I actually got started. I think that's what you asked me. Yeah, yeah. I love it. I love it. So, so Tiana, what is your uh, professional background? Okay, so my professional background has actually transitioned a lot because now that I've been learning more about myself and getting in tune with my mental and my third eye, I am a person in numerology that requires freedom. I'm considered a flower and I kind of flourish, you know, in several things. And so my background, I actually graduated with a Bachelor of Science degree in healthcare management. I worked in the healthcare industry doing management, doing consultant work um, and service and sales. And um, I kind of ventured off into financial analysis, data management, start entering and dealing with computers and technology. And since then, my career has advanced to where professionally I'm an IT consultant. Mm. So I'm an IT consultant that does Salesforce implementations for the government um, and kind of help to manage the client in wow. those implementations. Wow. I never wow. would have thought a flower would be IT tech, but that's wow. what I'm doing and I enjoy it. <laughs> and see what I love about that is, you know, when, when you're thinking about like computers and technology, that's so left brain thinking, but, but the, the belly dance, that, that's that right brain thinking. So it's just kind of integrating everything. And yeah, that, that's what I love. Play first before you go. Uh-huh. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Yeah. So, so tell me, what, what are some of the health benefits of um, belly dancing? Girl, let me tell you. So um, originally, I just wanted to dance. I had no clue the um, soulful therapeutic enhancement that belly dance had on your body. You know what I mean? It's more than working out, than moving your body. It really is connecting with your inner, you know, your insides, I should say, your inner soul, and really working from the inside out. So in order to move your body, you're thinking, you're feeling confident, you're embracing all of you, your whole self, you are really engaging and being in tune with your movements, and it really is a dance that goes from the inside out. So therapeutically, it is a mental enhancement of helping helping you to discover self, to connect with others, to feel energy, and be able to embrace all of you, right? So that mental is there, but then physically you're moving and challenging your body without overworking yourself because you're pulling it from your core and you're just enjoying, you know what I mean? The blessings of you created as who you are, you know? And so there are a lot of advantages. If I wasn't, if I started out talking physically, I am a woman who struggles with fibroids. You know, I'm a, I just turned 40, I'll be 41 this year. Like I said, I've had children. I understand the woes that us women go through and the different changes that our body goes through. And so belly dance from that physical perspective, it really focuses on the core, your hips, your digestive system, your respiratory system, your diaphragm, because moving in here is moving those inner organs. So the health benefits is that my digestive system is flowing. You know what I mean? My fibroids are calmed and exercised. You know, um, my heart rate is up. So therefore my lungs and my diaphragm is working without overexerting themselves. So I am really giving my whole body and my whole self as well as my mental, just a full cleansing and recharge. Almost like if you were to go to sleep and be in R&M sleep, R-E-M sleep. That's what belly dancing is for me as far as the health benefits. We always hear about high blood pressure, cholesterol, diabetes. We hear about your diet and your health, but there is nothing. Listen, we're all going to struggle with eating. We're all going to have our challenges. But there is nothing like moving your body and really challenging how you're feeling on the inside and pulling that into dance that gives you a complete healing of releasing those toxins and welcoming good energy in. So tons of benefits. (laughs) Absolutely. 
That is a, a great answer. That's a yeah, wonderful answer. It, it almost the way you describe it, and you know, of course, I, I do it too. But in describing it to people who haven't done it before, it sounds like the type of exercise that you could do when you don't really feel like you're exercising. So it's not like okay, you gym class. Or <laughs> Let me take time to know that this is for me, and I'm moving to the music, and I am enjoying me. Nothing else. Yeah. It's not about being selfish. This is not your children's time. Work doesn't get this. Other outside influences, friends. This is all about, you know what? My most high made me perfectly designed to be exactly who I am. And when I'm feeling that music and that movement, I am embracing all of that. Mm -hmm. And when I learned, I had no clue. I've always loved to dance. You know what I mean? I've done many types of dance and wish I would have been a professional dancer, you know. Mm. But early on, my mom allowed me to be lazy and play with my friends. I blame it on her. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> it's my fault. But, you know, but yeah, it, it, it's nothing like it. People hear belly dance and they think, you know, you're this toothpick, right? Size four with this long hair down to your tailbone and you got to be skinny and it's, oh, that looks hard. And it's just moving the belly. And I don't want to just move my belly. Yeah. No, it's not that. It's a complete movement of your soul and your energy mm. and balancing your chakras. And okay. when you do that, you're aligning. So then you're bringing that serotonin into your body mm, you know okay. so that's why when we have these classes i try to speak positive to you guys you are queens embrace it love yourself know who you are or at least think and manifest who you are in this movement so it's a spiritual movement of the mind not just belly dancing yeah yeah you know? I, i'm so glad you brought that up because i just watched uh, dark girls part two um on own over the weekend and um you're you're and i'm sure you're familiar with the uh the franchise with the, the series there's dark girls no, and then there's been like i haven't seen it i need to check it out oh yeah please check it out mm -hmm. and it just really focuses on as um you know african americans just some of the negative messages that we've gotten about our skin tones um so um the the series started with dark girls part one so mm -hmm. uh the the series the um original show was mainly about dark skin females and how you know many of us as dark skin women have gotten negative messages about our skin tones and there was a spinoff which was light girls which talked about some of the challenges that light skin uh, women oh, have. Know, well, I have seen bits and pieces mm -hmm. of that because they were talking about colorism as well as your hair. Right. Hair is part of that as well. So Dark Girls 2 gets uh, into, it gets into it more. It gets a little bit more in depth. But I'm bringing that up because by you talking about the affirmations that you give during belly dance, which I have experienced and I love, it pours into uh, it pours into us as women because yes. we get so many negative messages. Yes. You know whether you're uh, and dark skin, as light black skin, women, and we're friends. experiencing it with right. rejection on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. You know, and just mm -hmm. as women in general, you know, we often get a lot of uh, negative messages about what we look like, and you know, you you're too this too dark your hair isn't this you're too thin too big too short too tall you know so i, I really appreciate that you take that time to pour into um the self-esteem of, of the women you're you're instructing it's so important it is so important d um and i've always been a really complimentive person but i've always struggled with um pain in the world you know what i mean i always struggle with how cold people could be i could never understand that and i would internalize that i later discovered that i'm what's known as the empath which means you take on the world's emotions you know you're overly empathetic you take on all of those emotions and for me it's that i just be wanting people to know know who you are and i don't do that because i have it all figured out I do that to uplift myself as well and to boost my self-esteem because I am challenged with, you know, insecurities. I am challenged with, am I good enough? Am I okay with, you know, my good and my bad? And so it is very important to understand 
why we're moving. You know, this is not technical. This is not, you know, by the books. I need you to be an exact, articulate belly dance because I'm still a student. I'm very new to learning and had some trials with instructors, you know, which you and I, you know, can talk about or con contest to. But it really is, you are beautiful. Know who you are. Know that there is that good seed, that good feeling inside you. You are a queen. You're unstoppable. Don't believe the hype. We don't care what you look like or what society says you look like. You embrace who you are because you were made perfect. So when I'm going through it, I'm like, my beautiful queens work. Take that energy out. Whatever anxiety and stress, push it out, flow it out. Think about what you want coming to you. Welcome it, you know, and I'm just trying to really speak that. We are awesome. We are good, you know, so... Mm -hmm. I hope that you guys receive that. And oh, I'll absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> so would you say that, that belly dance has mental health benefits as well as, as physical? I, you mentioned serotonin before, girl. so, you know. <laughs> girl, girl, girl. So many mental health benefits. Um, I am so excited that the world, the nation, and particularly people of color, is starting to engage more in mental health. You know what I mean? In recent years. Because even I was clueless to it. You know, you live life thinking life is the way it is. And then you have people talk about religion. And religion is fine, but mental health is actually a study. You know what I mean? Like, you have to actually study, research, and become aware. And that is a process. And it's a challenging process, you know? So I embrace all therapy, any type of therapeutic alignment that really challenges you to look at yourself, look at where you are, look at the why you do things the way you do it, and then channel that further. So then when I incorporate belly dancing, which once again, I have to give tribute to you, Deidre, you know what I mean? Because when you presented it as therapeutic belly dancing, it connected because I always knew I had these feelings but had not put the mental health words attached to it. Yes, it helps with mental health. When Right before I started teaching belly dancing, as you know, I was at the lowest low of the lowest low point in my life. I was going through a very challenging time. I was depressed. I was sad. I was hurt. I was insecure. I was confused. Like, what the heck? You know what I mean? Um, and it was during that time, you know, God always sends you messages. And forgive me for talking spiritual, but you know, I can't help it. You know, he always sends you messages and you alone just saying, hey, who would you be interested in? Have you considered at that time and embracing that and then really taking it in? I was like, you know what? No time like the present. When I'm feeling this way and I know that there's a gift or something that I'm good at or that makes me feel good, let me go hard at it. You know what I mean? And so my personal experience of understanding how belly dancing attributes to your mental health, when I tell you it kicked me into overdrive, like even during my low, when I first started dancing and just having you ladies look and we're all moving and stuff, the self-esteem increased because it was like, no, you are good enough. You feel good. This is okay. You know what I mean? The movement, it shifts that negative thoughts. You know, it removes that anxiety because you're breathing it in and out. You're in a moment, you know? So people that struggle with anxiety, PTSD, as we all do, the challenges of life, everyday hustle and bustle, Meditation, I love. And meditation is a beautiful thing. It has its place. Yoga, I love. A beautiful thing. It has its place. Belly dancing is yet another tribute. Even if we were talking CrossFit, like belly dancing, imagine taking meditation, taking, you know, wanting to really, you know, understand things and embrace it and feel that good spirit, but then moving your body along with it. You know what I mean? Yoga is more control, whereas the belly dance allows you to flow more with the streams of just allowing your body to move, you know what I mean, in whatever feels comfortable. And there is a mental celebration to that, that your brain goes through. 
And that your energy and your third eye goes through a feeling that, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And it makes me so happy because I'm starting to have women share that with me. Like, Mm -hmm. oh my God, your spirit alone and the movement alone has changed me. You know, so yes, it definitely helps with mental health, honey. Yes. And and I agree. And the thing the thing that I love so much about belly dance is that it is healing because many of us as women of color, as black women especially, are traumatized. And some some of the tra- uh, trauma can be passed down through generations. So we we may not have been um, victimized um, directly, but our, our mothers might have been, or our grandmothers might have been, or our great grandmothers. Mm-hmm. That is passed down. There is something called cellular memory, where memories and feelings and, and, and issues are passed down through our DNA. And yeah. it's so deep because what happens with belly dancing is it gives us a way to sort of not only heal, and get in touch with our femininity in a positive way, right? Because yeah. we get all these negative messages and some people think you got to be out here acting like this, acting like that to be feminine, but this is yeah. femininity. Or it try just, to make you feel guilty for simply moving your body, which right. is another barrier that I would like to break down and I think is being broken with this, our feminist movement. Right, it absolutely. It's okay to move your body. It's okay to move, our, and see, it's, it's ancestral because it taps into our African roots. Yes. Belly dancing has African roots. And I know, yes. that, you know, because I studied it, and of course, you know, there are different forms of belly dancing. There's Egyptian, of course, that's where it yes. all, you know, the the where it starts Egyptian, there's um, th- there's oriental belly dancing, there's yeah. Turkish, there's- Arabic, the Middle East, but really right. Cairo, Egypt, those sisters did this in a form of power, in a form of leadership, in a form of rebellion, rebelling yes. against the system. Yes. So it really was a warfare of saying, I get to be me. You know what yes. I mean? Yes. 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 And it was present yes. in the Bible. This is biblical. Yes. This yes. is biblical, a very ancient yes. form of dance. So, yes. and that, that brings me to the next question. There are, um, and as a segue to this question, there, there are misconceptions about belly dancing. You said something about women moving their bodies and it can be misunderstood. But many, many years ago, I think it was about maybe 2002. Um, it was before I met my husband, 2001, 2002. I was doing a belly dance performance on the spirit of Washington with my belly dancing group. And we were performing and somebody stuffed a dollar down my top. Okay, yes. Yeah. And the thing is, I, I, of course I was offended by that and very confused, I, I didn't expect that. But that told me that there are people who, who don't quite understand what belly dancing is and they kind of yeah. confuse it with something else. So can you tell me about some misconceptions? Yeah, you know what, that is a very good point. There are a lot of people who do not understand belly dance. Um, And I've learned that just even in my circle of sending it out and saying, hey, try it, you know? Because yeah, for one, it's accepting us moving all of our body. So when I'm talking about all my body, I'm talking about my hips, my pelvic area, my chest, I'm moving and expressing myself. And that could be considered explicit, but it's really not when you understand the beauty in it. You know, so that's one of the generalized misconceptions. You know, like for my class, I have mothers and their daughters in the class, you know, because it's okay for us to move and embrace our body. But even with my inner circle, um, like I said, one, and I have several misconceptions. One is just thinking it's just belly dance in the Mideastern term, you know what I mean, of seeing the very thick, skinny, young 20-year-old women with the hair down to their tailbones. Mm -hmm. And that is one of the biggest misconceptions. Belly dancing is for all body types, all shades, all colors, all ages. It has nothing to do with what you look like and everything to do with exercising your inner core and your inner self. Mm -hmm. And it is a freeing in that. It's something you can do solo by yourself, standing in the shower or standing in the room or in unison with others, you know? And so the concept of I hear belly dance and I only think you're supposed to make your belly dance, your belly dance. No, it's more than that. 
you know there's also the misconception of um Oh, that's for the young folks. You know what I mean? I can't do that. In my class, I have women in their 60s, their 50s, as young as six and five, okay? And it is a freeing in that. Because no, it's not for the young ladies, once again. And it's not just for ladies. Let's go ahead and say that. I know it is mostly women, but there are men who have expression and do belly dance. But no, ladies, this is about the core of who we are. I am one man. I have these parts. I have these bodies. I have this different monthly experience for a reason. And I need to understand how to flow that energy through my body, how to handle that mental, how to balance, because it's you're the rock. You know what I mean? And so there's a lot of misconceptions, you know, and I tell people all the time, I'm like, listen, just tune in and try it out. Like you would be amazed, you know, I, who, your hair could be shaved, it could be green, purple, who cares? You could be 350 pounds or 90 pounds, who cares? You know what I mean? It has nothing to do with body shape, body image, race, none of that, you know? And so that is a big misconception. And then, you know, if we were to talk strippers, right, and exotic dancing versus belly dancing, because a lot of times, especially in the Mideastern culture, these women were not allowed to share their bodies, to show their bodies, not share. And the only time that they could share their bodies, right, was in the nightclub when they have on these little, you know, glittery bras and this little skirt. And for the men, it was something to hawk at and look at, you know, because they don't get to see that often. But it's so much more than that. Like when we talk about any type of dance, sometimes we want to put a sexual stigma to it, you know, or we want to, 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 to toxify it as, you know, oh, it's explicit and raunchy. No, this is your God-given body. You know what I mean? You have this full temple for a reason, and it is not to be a statue and be stiff. It's to be moved and worked on, you know? And I just think it's really important for people to understand it's all about movement, and it's all about flowing energy, and then seeing how the movement comes out because of that energy and how you're feeling. So that's the biggest misconception. It's deeper than what people realize. Mm -hmm. So true. Mm -hmm. So true. So during this the this COVID stay at home quarantine, you have really been able to help people just sort of um, uplift themselves. Not only stay in shape uh, physically, um, you've been able to help people just emotionally and spiritually by doing your classes via Zoom. So how, tell me, what, what's that, what has that been like? How has that helped you get through this quarantine? Girl, it has been amazing. When I tell you all of you women in this experience alone, um, my words cannot express it. That's why sometimes, a lot of times, we end with Jill Scott's song, Jire Me Kofasala. And I don't know if you've heard her talk about that, but when your words just cannot express the energy and the connection, like I feel the spirit now. It's so rewarding because I'm doing it blindly. I have no expectations. It's not a money maker. You know what I mean? It's not because I gotta survive and get out of here. I am purely doing this for the joy in my heart and the gift that the Most High blessed me with. You know what I mean? And then in sharing it and having you all engage, having women come in, women I've never even seen before or met, I feel that spirit and that energy. And again, the devil is a liar. It's so yes. much going on, but we are so powerful in our good, our good feelings and our good vibes. And so that experience for me has let me realize that you can be tons of miles away, separated and still be connected simply by turning on the same tune and engaging in the same kind of vibe. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? To see those smiles and know, okay, with COVID, we may not be able to go out, but we're still moving. We're getting exercise. You know, we're taking care of our bodies. We're doing something for us. 
it it's been a beautiful experience i mean words can't express i just want to go on and on and on like i have really been inspired and thankful um and it's also made me aware and made me want to spread the message more of manifestation mm. like it has really enlightened that piece of me of saying speak what you want think about what you want don't get caught up into all of this because who knew that we could share in positivity and good vibes with all this going on out in the world mm -hmm. you know what i mean yeah scary yeah. death at our fingertips for so many different reasons yeah. death at our children's fingertips for so many reasons but to connect that energy it gives you an understanding of none of this matters not my battle mm -hmm. all i gotta do is spread my good vibes and my good my good feelings and receive those good vibes and those good feelings and we gonna be all right i love and it. that's what this experience has been I, you know, I love it. And I, and from what you're saying, you, um, by the, the dancing and everything and the affirmations is really raising everyone's vibrational freak, frequency, because I'm going to tell you, and I said this before I did a live at the beginning of the shutdown, anytime I've been just vulnerable to sickness is when my vibration was low when I was fearful, when I was mm. angry, when I was sad, when I was grieving, when I was frustrated, when I keep it high, I'm able to really, really um, strengthen my immune system. So it sounds like that's what you've been able to do just yeah. by teaching this class. Yes, yes. And let me tell you, Deidre, I have my lows. Um, and I'm sure I'm like many people where I struggle with consistency. Sometimes you just don't feel like it. You know what I mean? But the challenge in committing to you guys is also me challenging myself. So even when, because you're going to have those lows, it's a natural part of life. I tell my children all the time, you are going to have those lows. You're going to feel sick. Everything could be perfectly fine and you get that feeling. And it's okay to be in that feeling. But what the reward is and what the reward has been during this process is pushing through that. Because there's been days, so we do it, so everybody knows it's every Tuesday and Wednesday on Zoom at 7 p.m., which eventually I'll incorporate more classes. But let's say I've had a terrible day. I'm tired, I'm cranky, I don't wanna do it. Just the reward of me pushing through embracing that feeling but still saying i've committed to caring for myself even when i don't feel like it has been very very rewarding mm -hmm. and there's something in that you know what i mean and that's another thing that i'm channeling and challenging myself into and want people to realize like i don't expect people see me like this and they think oh you know she's just happy all the time it's great no but i smile through it I do. I smile through it. Sometimes I am dying on the inside. You know what I mean? But it's just that optimism and that push of yourself to say, no matter how depressed I get, you know, I feel for people that go as far as suicide. I've had so many suicide mm -hmm. um, experiences that I've heard of lately of people mm -hmm. that I love and care about and know kids it's heartbreaking yeah. and it hurts me so deeply and it gives me a fear for the kids because it is so important for me and i think this is the, what the most high wants me to put out what god wants me to put out it is so important for me to tell people i don't care how bad you're hurting you are going to be okay it's going to be okay we're going to hurt deeply but you're going to be okay mm -hmm. and i think that's because sometimes or what i've discovered that's what i need to hear right because i hurt you know and so yeah you know it um it, it's empowering you have mm -hmm. your lows but you push through and feel good and i challenge i thank you for talking about the belly dancing but i really challenge just the mental thought process behind it even if it isn't belly dancing i want women to know self-care is the most important thing that you can do for yourself and your family. You have got to have self-care to be valuable and be productive in this world. You know what I mean? You have to, because yes, it's gonna be a challenge. 
But self-care is not always laid out on the beach and putting your feet up. Self-care is pushing yourself to still do the things that you knew you enjoyed or you know that works for you, even when you don't feel like it. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. that's one thing that I'm learning through this process and hope that I share that as well. Be love. Come in with an attitude and buy two, three songs. I guarantee you, your energy is going to shift. That's right. That's Astro. right. It's going to happen. Yes. Yes. So if people want to sign up for the class, how should they um, access your, your information so they, can, so they can join in? Yes. So I am a girl that do, you know, rather than uh, plan. So I've been getting all of that together. As okay. of now, um, definitely via email, tianaroxy at gmail.com is T-I-A-N-A-R-O-X-I-E at gmail.com. Um, definitely Facebook or Instagram. So I'm on Facebook as Tiana Roxy Miller, which I, of course you have, I'll send you the information, but I know you have it. Um, on Facebook, I'm Tiana Roxy on Instagram. And then I'll share with you my Zoom link because it is the same Zoom link every single Tuesday and Wednesday at 7 p.m. Um, and as well as you know this, Deidre, if you send me your phone number, I'll actually send you videos if you want to try it on your own. And okay. so all of this, mm -hmm. I'm not charging anything. Donations are appreciated, but not required. I do say that because um, I just want to offer the experience and I want people to engage and uplift, them, uplift themselves. I want us all to have more confidence in who we are because this world's a struggle. And the yeah. devil is a liar. <laughs> yes, yes, the devil is a liar. And this, I love solutions and ladies, you heard her say she's taking donations. So it's not like you have to pay, you know, $50, $60 for, you know, uh, you know, five or six classes. Just, you know, you know, hook her up, give her some donations, but participate. Do Come something. Move your and body. Listen, and if you don't have it, don't feel convicted. Don't feel obligated. That is not my expectation with this. My expectation is not money. My expectation is truly, honestly wanting to share my spiritual gift with the world and hope that I can touch others and then hope that we all pay it forward as well as receive. That's I it. I love it. Yeah. I love it. That's it. So if you have a couple of minutes, would you mind doing a demonstration to just show, just show everyone what they can expect when they sign up for your class? Yes, I can, Deidre. Yay. Look, I'm just going to move this back. Okay. Don't you guys, I'm moving the, the tripod back, tripod back. But yeah, I'll go ahead and do a couple of movements, and Thank we're just going to do it a cappella here. Can you okay. see me okay? Oh, yes. I'm so silly, everybody. So, and I have my jewel belt on today, but I have a lot of different belly dancing chains. So if you contact me, I can send those as well. But when we talk about moving our body and embracing it, I have this one concept called love, love on yourself, which my cousin actually engaged me with. And so we just start by moving. So you'll notice I'm flowing all of my body. I'm just moving right to left, coming up, inhale, exhale, right? So we start with a warm up, but when we're talking about concentrated movements, we can move one hip and we'll just do it and move and embrace all your body. You can reverse it to the left and move that hip. You're still exercising, but you're engaging. I have my ladies roll your hips, ladies, in a circle. Speed it up and just feeling good. When we talk about the upper body, chest rolls, hips. And then we do do a little bit of belly where we're actually, and unfortunately, I don't have my belly out today. You don't have to have your belly out. But we're just moving all of this inside and out. So as you can see, it feels so good, Deidre. 
Yay. And that's acapella. That's all my spirit right all there right. for my beautiful queen. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. You did a great awesome. job. Great job. So this has been so much fun. Oh I'm my so God, Deidre, listen. You are such an amazing spirit. I tell you all the time. I prayed and prayed for energies to come my way that I could relate to but to also inspire. And you always inspire me. I love you so much. Thank, thank you, thank but you. It, it, it's, it's God. I give all glory. <laughs> I give all glory to God because sometimes God just tells me this person, tell this person that they would be good at this. Tell this person that they should do that. I know that sounds so bossy to me, yeah. but it's like I you feel do. God telling me to inspire people to do certain things. And, you know, I utilize that in my work, you know, in the school system. I utilize that in my work as a therapist. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I think back to, gosh, I would say maybe 2007 when I worked in, um, I worked at a school in DC, Kramer, um, Kramer Middle School, and mm -hmm. it's in Anacostia. And mm -hmm. I had this kid that I was working with uh, for counseling, and he was a troubled student. And it, God just put on my heart, you know, he's going to be a pastor one day. And I wow. said to him, you know wow. what? I see that in you. And mm -hmm. he was like, what? Really? Man, and he, you could just see him like, wow. He was like, do they make a lot of money? I said, yeah, they do. And his whole aura changed yeah. after that. Like yeah. someone sees something in me other than, you know, something negative. Girl, that's speaking blessings into others and those blessings come out. And see, that's what I want for my children, you know? And I feel like we all have a service and duty to do that you know and it pays for it it pays for it and it comes back around yeah. all of that come that karma welcomes you know so i thank you so much i really do anytime well, let me you know so anything you need i'm here honey i i appreciate you so thank you so much for doing this and just um you know teaching us about belly dance and you know just giving us information about it you know so many women are, you know, I find or I've noticed so many women are intimidated because when you look at it, it looks complicated. And like you said, a lot of women think that you got to look a certain way in order Simple, to do right it. right here. I say, ladies, right, right here. We just yes. move them side to side. Mm -hmm. We start out side to side. It really is, you know, but you have to hear that out loud and know. Side to side. I said, if you're comfortable, you put your hands right here on your hips. Mm -hmm. But, you know, it works. And it's not about being exact. I don't expect your movements to look like mine. I just, if I say move the right hip, you're just moving that right hip. Yeah. What feels good to you? Mm -hmm. If you want to put your arm out, you put your arm out. You want your arm here, fine. But what feels good to you? And that's what I want the understanding of my belly dance experience to be. Yes. You know what I mean? It's not about how is Tiana doing it because four years and still counting, right? But there's been some training. I was, even before I started, and I know you got to go, I'm such a talker. But even before I started, um, when I first started teaching the classes to where I am now, this movement here was so different. It used to be more so like this, right? Now it comes up and around. But that's mm -hmm. through time, you know, mm -hmm. but it's training yourself, you know, but all of that, girl, we just move. It's a party. Yeah. And last thing I will say, um, so mine is more of a um, fusion style belly dance. I do do song requests. Most of my music can be R&B, hip hop. There is some belly dance components to some of the songs, but I'm open. So we have fun. The workout class is more like a Zumba. We're just turning music on and going and following along and moving, you know? So it's not step by step, eight count. Eight I'm count. not doing none of that. We're blasting the music. We're partying. We're feeling good. I'm yelling over the music and we're just moving, having a good time. That's how we roll, right? I love it. <laughs> I love it. 
Well, thank you again for blessing us with, with um, just by participating in this and again, just helping us just to, uh, helping me to educate others and, and let people know what belly dancing is about and, yeah. you know, letting them know about this wonderful opportunity um, to uh, take part in the class. So, all right. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up. Any last words before we, before we end? Hey, my sisters, love on each other, compliment each other. We see each other out in these streets. Look and say, how you doing, queen? Let's continue to lift each other up. It is so important. And we don't need nobody else to do it for us. So That's I right. love you all. And I love you, Deidre. I love you, too. I <laughs> love you, too. So this has been another episode of Managing Anxiety in the Storm with me, Dr. Deidre Sorrell. I am Mrs. Black, Maryland International Ambassador 2020. So stay tuned for future shows. I'll be letting you know via Instagram what's coming up next. So until then, be blessed, take care, and stay safe out there. You're Bye -bye. a superstar, girl. Bye. <laughs> Bye, honey. Bye. <laughs>